Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is the amount of time it takes to get hot water to the furthest fixture in your house. Obviously, it's a distance problem. The further you are, or the bathroom or kitchen is from the water heater, is going to determine the length of time it's going to take to get hot water to that fixture. So what we have is a comfort system pump that's designed to boost the hot pressure and push it via a bypass valve into the cold system to cut that, that time down to literally seconds. Very simple process and what we need to do is install that pump on the hot side of the water heater. So simply we take off the hot side flex that's supplying water, hot water, to the house. We take the comfort system pump with a built-in timer so we can only have it on during peak use times and keep it off during the nighttime when we're not using any hot water and we don't need that demand. Simply take it, install it onto a three-quarter inch pipe nipple that is pretty normal for any water heater. Okay. Simply hook the flex line back up. This may require a shorter flex line now that you've added six inches to the length of the water heater. So have that handy. Hook that back up to your plumbing. Okay, so now we've got our pump installed with our flex line. Everything's back installed. We're not gonna plug it in until after we get the, the job completed. What we have to do now is install this bypass valve. Okay, the hot water is gonna hook up to the hot side and what it's gonna do, the water over the course of the night has cooled down. That's why it's such a delay. It's the length from the water heater to the bathroom, but it's not using that water that's allowed that 80 feet of pipe to cool down. So we have to get rid of that, recycle that water, push it back into the cold system so we're not wasting 10 gallons of water a day by just simply turning on the faucet and letting that water disappear and go down the drain. We're going to have the pump push that cooled off water in the hot side through this manifold back into the cold side. There's a gel tab built into this bypass valve that when it reaches a certain temperature, it shuts down, which allows you to get immediate hot water at that fixture but anything else behind it is also going to be enhanced by this. So if there's a loop from the water heater to the downstairs bath, to the laundry, to the kitchen, then it goes to the upstairs bath, everything in line with this bypass valve is going to be enhanced, meaning it'll only take seconds to get hot water to each of those fixtures. It used to be you had to have a recirculating system and a constant flow of water on this loop and everything branching off the loop. Now, with a simple comfort system booster pump, you can have hot water literally in seconds.